Hi guys, welcome back. This is Ryan bringing you another video with a bit of a market update today because the last video that we made was actually saying watch out for the pullback on Bitcoin. Obviously we got that but it went a little bit deeper than what I expected but I think really today's video is about keeping a level head in emotional times because we've had these times in the past at tops where we spike up and everything's looking really really bullish and then we spike again break all resistance everyone is super bullish and expecting 100k bitcoin um, and now we're seeing the same here where we have a, a low broken um, right here and things are looking really bleak on the weekly time frame and on the monthly time frame everyone's expecting 10,000 next 8,000 in the next couple of weeks and there is actually an Elliott wave count that I shared on my Twitter not too long ago that would explain this break of the low um, but then really be expecting a spike towards the 30 to 40,000 zone and as, as I say that right now in this in these bearish times everyone would probably say you're insane and that's a stupid stupid call but i'm going to go into depth as to why i think that is the case we've got numerous indicators flashing to me as to what a bottom would shout um and yeah we've we've had this in the past at tops but now we're just getting it at the bottom in my opinion so we'll get into that right now so what I wanted to do here is actually take it back to 2021 where the high was coming in for Bitcoin, the very, very top of the market. Um, you can see here the top was actually marked by, well, the very top was this week here, but the top was really marked by these three days, these three big bullish candles coming into play um, when everyone was really, really bullish. All resistances was broken. All highs was broken big massive green bullish candle taking us into that into that zone and then it took three days here of spike 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 for us to reverse and that is where all the big major players took their profits big institutional players drove the market up in this massive bullish fashion so they could take profits and make everybody else buy because for anyone selling in the market the big players they need people to be buying and what better way do you make people buy than to increase these the size of these big green candles on the daily time frame keep pushing up keep pushing up for them to only take profits and everybody else buy and i think the same is going on now at the bottom of what i think is a very local bottom for bitcoin i think it's going to be quite a long term bottom for the next six months really where we drive higher in price for bitcoin and as i say that it sounds ridiculous to say 30 or 40,000 Bitcoin right now at these lows as all the resistances are broken, as the big bearish candles come into play. But that is what I'm expecting because it's the total opposite to what we're getting, what we had at the top of the Bitcoin. And for big institutional players to buy, they need retail to sell. And what better way to get retail to sell than to introduce big red candles on the daily time frame driving lower driving lower with a big scary ftx narrative so let's have a look at the bitcoin bottom right now so just like at the top for bitcoin we had that very very local top that was looking to be resistance for quite a while but at the bottom here for bitcoin that was what everyone thought was the bottom for bitcoin if the bottom's in that's going to hold and that was pretty much everybody's mindset um, at the top where if the top was not going to break that was going to be it we was going to go to 100,000 whereas everyone's mindset right now in the past couple of months has been if this breaks we're going straight to 10,000 and from what I mentioned earlier and what I showed you earlier when we got them big free daily candles big green candles to the upside that marked the top have a look at what we got here with that big scary FTX narrative one two three and that third day was absolutely massive max fear broken all resistances people panic selling liquidations happening companies going bust um, bankruptcies filed you know these are the narratives that need to come into play for people to sell for big institutional players in this market that move the market to come in and buy and i think they're in the process now of actually buying um in an accumulation structure for bitcoin on the higher time frames marked by this big massive green and um, this big massive red candle here to the downside with max fear in the market i think it's a perfect sign for us to see 
in the market that we we should be expecting a reversal pretty soon. But like we got at the top, the big green candle to the upside was not the top. It was actually the wicks in the days after um, that that marked the top of the um, top of the market. So let's say, for instance, that we have this big bearish candle here to the downside, and like at the like at the top, it was not the top. So I'm expecting this not to be the bottom. But if in the next coming days we get numerous wicks down, down spikes back, and the range actually holds on the weekly time frame, um, or even if we keep below the range on the weekly time frame, that that again would be confirmation to a lot of people in this market that this market is set to break down if we close below that level, and that is textbook it's basic tech textbook stuff in markets that's what people are expecting and it's what happened at the top where we got them uh, if you have a look right here we actually closed above that range on the weekly time frame and that was confirmation for a lot of people to be bullish and as you can see that was actually the top of the market so if we get that close below this range this week a lot of people are going to be expecting us to just melt straight down and I don't think it's coming. I think that's way, way too obvious in the market. Um, I think too many people are fearful right now. A lot of things are lining up for Bitcoin to actually spike down, spike down, use these coming weeks to keep spiking into that range. And then on the monthly time frame, I think we're, we're going to end up coming back up and filling this candle inefficiency up here at around 31 to forty thousand dollars and i think that move is very very likely um more likely than us just melting down right now i think too many people expect it um in the camp of watching bitcoin here seeing if we can close if we do get the close on the monthly back above this range that would again be so so bullish for the short term for bitcoin to go and move up into these ranges um but on the weekly time frame we don't have to close above this range at all because as you can see at the top we didn't do that we we closed above and then reversed that was where institutional players was taking profits so if institutional players want to be buying bitcoin want to be getting into crypto right now they need this big scary narrative they need this big red candle here to scare people out of the market right below the range no hope in crypto for them to only go up in a five wave manner and I, I tell you now if people if we get this move to the upside people will be so so bullish up here and that would be a perfect profit taking zone so if we take a look now at bitcoin and the rsi at the top here you can see that this rsi movement that was quite bullish right there was not the top it was actually this rsi movement here that showed that bearish divergence for us to see the slowing momentum in the market and for us to then move down um, so if we can imply that this move to the downside is similar to the top up here it would imply that this is not the bottom and we have a little bit of a rise up in the market come down set one new low to get to that 15,000 zone 15,500 but the RSI to move up a little bit come down and give us that hidden that bullish divergence sorry like we got the bearish divergence at the top here that again would be a telltale telltale sign for us to expect a quick rapid move to the upside like we got here with a quick rapid move to the downside and i think this is very confluence it is it's so, it's showing so much confluence with the wxy um pattern that i shared the other day on twitter showing why 15,500 would be a zone that i'd be looking for if that if that count was actually in play so i'll show you what i said the other day on twitter i think we was just about to break the low um explaining why i thought 15,500 would be a spring reaction zone so this is what i shared the other day just as we was breaking the low um to maybe expect 15,500 to be a spring zone for bitcoin and that would be the elliott wave count and that would imply actually that we have lower to go for bitcoin but in the short term that we could expect to move to the upside back to around the 30 to 40,000 zone. And this would be the wave count here, the WXY um, with an ABC back to the upside that really catches everyone off guard in the market, break the low, come down to around 15,500 and then set up the move to the upside where inst institutional players have 
bought these lows with the big scary narrative then we get the move to the upside everyone gets bullish again the institutional big whales in the market start taking profits again and drive price lower um so that is a scary long-term outlook for bitcoin but in the short term it would imply we should keep level-headed and um not give in to the fear or into the manipulation into the market that these big institutional players do drive the narratives they drive price up to make people buy as they're selling and they drive price down fast in a scary way to make people sell so they can buy so just taking a closer look now at bitcoin and that wave count this wave count would imply that we get a move back to the upside very soon into december at the start of the new year and um really i don't think it is too over the edge to say that we could get a retest of this trend line that we've got here numerous reactions on the weekly time frame um i don't think it's too out of there to say that we can go up and retest that in this wave count it makes sense um obviously now everyone is super scared we've broken the lows just like when everyone was super bullish at the highs broke the highs everyone's so bullish 100k next everyone right here lows broken saying 11 12 10k next coming right coming right up in the coming weeks expect to see it soon i just don't expect it i simply don't see us melting straight down there it, it would not be something i'm expecting and obviously i can be wrong i'm not an expert in this market at all and i don't think anyone really is everyone's just doing the best um but this does not make sense to me at all and i think this makes more sense a move to the upside catch everyone off guard get everyone really bearish right now break these lows and then move back up in a five wave manner fast it's going to be really explosive really fast but in the short term the days coming the weeks coming we can expect numerous drives lower we, we saw it at the top numerous drives into that zone and then reverse but it's never going to feel like a reversal at the bottom just like this reversal did not feel like it at the top everyone was expecting higher and now everyone's expecting lower so to me this this wave count makes the most sense a retest of that trend line and then continuation down if we do you know this would be a perfect profit taking zone and no one wants to buy right now no one wants to be involved everyone is scared everyone's expecting 10,000 so i think it makes sense to just stay level headed don't give in to the fear in my opinion um of course it's not financial advice but again i just do not see us melting down from here i see this as total manipulation in the market market makers big players setting up for a move to the upside and it makes it it so it does sound like people are making it up just when just at the top here it sounded like anyone calling for a move down is stupid and anyone calling for a move to the upside right now would look very very stupid but often the market will go where you expect but not how you expect it to get there so i think this this would ruin the most people in the market catch the most people off guard get the liquidity from the liquidity grabs and then let the market do what the market's going to do from there but you can see we have this major major bullish divergence right here on the weekly which can take a while to play out but i mean i cannot ignore that i really cannot ignore that just like we had the bearish divergence at the top here couldn't be ignored i really cannot ignore this so again not financial advice just a market update staying level-headed in these these emotional times can be the key to um staying in the market so cheers guys thanks again if you don't mind or if it's your first time watching drop a subscribe give me a like let me know what you think in the comments because i do read the comments take everyone's opinion into play and just you know getting as many opinions into the video or into the world at, at as most as but as much as possible is um really beneficial to see what everyone else is thinking what is market sentiment like and you know we could be wrong we might not be but anyway we'll be here and we'll still we'll still stay analyzing these markets cheers guys and i'll see you next time